Hi, my name is Dan, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to change a geometry object into a static mesh object. So the setup that I've got here is I've got a third-person template map, and I've got a little hook that I've created. And if you watched the previous video on editing geometry objects, you'll recognize this hook as being the output from that before I messed it up. Um, and we'll just click play and show this, uh, this hook you can run inside, and the walls are solid. Uh, and that's great. So I keep going on about the fact that geometry objects are quite computationally expensive, and when you, if you've used them to block out a level and you want to keep them rather than replacing them with static meshes that you've made, uh, then the thing to do is to convert them into static meshes. So I've got this box uh, selected here. It's been edited, and uh, the way to change it into a static mesh is just over here in the details pane. Uh, you've got the box uh, settings, sorry, the brush settings, um, and there's a little down arrow here that's show advanced, and there's a few buttons that come up if you click on that. Um, and one of those is create static mesh. So I click on create static mesh, and it asks me where I want to put that static mesh uh, in my content. I'm just going to put it in the root uh, of my content folder. Uh, it asks me for a name, and I'm going to call it Dan's mesh and uh, create static mesh. And there we go. So that has created a static mesh now. One thing that's happened is that um, it has got rid of our uh, hole that we had in it. Um, and uh, another thing that's happened is that it has lost the collision as we go into it. So I've just uh, undone the process that I was. I did before because I do want to preserve my door and have that as part of my hut. Uh, so the way to do that is to not only have the hut objects brush selected, but also the one that's the click on it somewhere is the one that's the subtractive box. Um, hard to click and find it, so I'll do it in the outliner here. Um, Select that, select the other one. So I've got both boxes selected. Um, and now I can click Create Static Mesh. And again, it'll ask me where I want the mesh to be put. I haven't given it a particular change in name. And now it's done it including the door. So I've used both boxes together, sorry, both brushes together. Now, uh, you'll notice that I can run through the door, but I can also run through the walls now because the collision that was part of the geometry object has disappeared. Um, and if I want to have collision in this static mesh, I'll need to deal with that. But that's the subject of a later video. So that's how you can create a static mesh from one or more uh, of your geometry brushes. And that's it from me for now.